Superman's comics where we're helping to amplify your comic collection through integrity and community. We do a lot of comic and pop culture related videos on this channel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now in this video, this video, if you're a comic geek, comic collector, comic nerd, all the above, this video isn't really for you. It's actually for your significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend. However, this is gonna be a comic book nerd gift guide video where I'm gonna offer a bunch of suggestions on gift ideas for that comic book nerd in your life. Because a lot of times, especially my wife, she's like, I don't know what to get you for Christmas. I don't know what to get you for whatever. This video will help with that. So if you are a comic book nerd watching this and you have a girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, husband, whatever, share this to them and hopefully it will help. Getting right into it. We're gonna start off with comic book ideas. So some great comic book gift ideas. Does the person have a favorite character? You might wanna get like a key issue. That's gonna take some research. You might wanna get a first appearance. That could be expensive, but also you could get, say a subscription to the character's comic book. Now I would highly recommend not going the normal mail subscription route because they get shipped really flimsy. And most likely the person that is getting that comic wants to keep it in a good condition. So I would check maybe with the local comic book store, see if you can set up a subscription for that title and have it bagged and boarded already so it's well protected. Another great idea for that character is trade paperbacks or omnibus. Now a trade paperback usually collects an arc, one anywhere from four to six issues of a specific comic book. And that's a great way for a reader to catch up on a story, collect a story, they got trade paperbacks, you can get it in hardcover sometimes. And then you can even get bigger where they got what they call omnibuses, which is like a collection of 32 comics of a specific title, character, team, or what have you. Now even make this easier, I will put links in the description of this video for you to check out. All this will also be available to find on simplemanscomics.com. You could spend so much time talking just about comic books. I want to give a bunch of other great gift ideas on here. I'm going to move along into comic book supplies. Comic book supplies can anywhere from bags and boards, which is what to put the comic book in to protect it. It could be storage. Storage, you can get the regular, they got a short box, long box, multiple ways for comic book storage now. I store mine mostly in a filing cabinet now just because I wanted something different than the normal storage box. But now even with those storage boxes, there's so many options, which I know could be daunting, but it's great to have options. So you can go with your normal white type short storage box. They also have black plastic storage bench, which is more durable. Also that black color, sometimes people don't like the white look of those short boxes. So that hard plastic kind of subdues that makes it fit into a room better, especially if it's stored out in the open and not put away in like a closet or storage room or, or what have you. And those storage bins aren't too expensive. They run around about $25. And then they also have discounts if you buy five or more and then also offer free shipping up to a certain price. And then they have the long box form as well. I did a review on this channel for those. I'll put a card up here if you wanted to check that video out. But then they also have graphic short boxes now. So favorite character, favorite series, favorite what have you, check it out. They might have graphic short boxes, which is basically a comic storage box, but instead of it being white or durable plastic, you have graphics of that said character or theme on the box. Spider-Man, Hulk, um, Power Rangers. There's all types of them out there. So definitely be on the lookout for those as well. And then bags and boards themselves. A lot of people in the hobby, especially for protection, like Mylites, which is a type of Mylar. And then they also like backing boards. A lot of people go with regular, it's a half back, which is a, the level of thickness on that backing board, or full back, which is a little bit thicker backing board. And then could be daunting when you're looking at those bags. What size do I get? Because they have golden age, silver age, current or modern age, and so forth. They even have magazine age, magazine size bags and boards. Me, I always go with Silver Age, just because I like that extra protection, even though the current comics are a little bit smaller. I go with the Silver Age bags and boards just because I like the look and feel of those, and that's just a personal preference on my part. Another great gift idea for the nerd in your life, and I don't say that as an insult, us geeks, us nerds, we actually hold that title as a badge of honor now, but great gift idea is Funko's. Funko has a line of almost any type of character type collectible that you want right now. The biggest one that people are aware of are Funko Pops, which is that little pop vinyl figure that people just buy and collect. A lot of them like to click them in the box, keep them in the box, 
because they're worth more that way if you're a collector. But if you're doing it that way and you're buying for someone, kind of check the box, make sure it doesn't have any big rips, tears, creases, or anything like that, and then try to protect it as much as you can until you get them to them. And then it's on their own to, to look after it at that point. But I myself, I keep the boxes, but I actually take them out of the box for storage. And a great display idea for these is if you go to Michael's, they got baseball bat displays and they hold perfectly between 11 to 13 of these Funko Pops, unboxed of course, and you can display them right on the wall and it looks fantastic. Now some people don't want to take those out of the box ever, this isn't an option, but for me, I kept the boxes in good condition. I put them in plastic totes and stored them away and they are now displaying, the actual Pops themselves are displaying on the wall in these baseball bat cases. And you can usually find those at Michael's, and also be on the lookout because a lot of times they have sales, whether it's a coupon, whether it's buy one, get one free, or just a really good sale on display items in general. And if you go looking to display a comic book collection, a great idea for that is they got a site called Collector Mount, collectormount.com. You also can save 25% there if you use the code SIMPLEMAN25, but they offer collector mounts single, so you can display a single comic book, whether it's a graded comic, they offer where you can display uh, CDs, DVDs, they pretty much got a mount for almost any type of collectible, even sports cards. Collectormount.com is where you wanna check for that, and again, that will be in the description of this video as well. Then another great gift idea, which kinda of goes along with the same line of that Funko, is actual statues. There's so many great companies out there that sell statues all types of licensing out there, not just comic superhero based, but Star Wars, Star Trek, pretty much anything pop culture related. Sideshowtoy.com is a great website. It's expensive, but well worth it. There's a bunch of cheaper alternatives out there as well. Statues make a great gift, especially if someone has a dedicated comic book room or a home office where they can show that nerd pride off who their favorite characters are. And it'll always remind them of you when they look at it. And then keeping with that home office theme, another great thing to display would be posters. Posters are very cost effective. You can find them pretty much online almost anywhere. And then another great thing about it, you can go on Amazon, you can go to any of these arts and crafts type stores, and they have poster frames now where you can hang them on the wall, and then the borders around the side of them, you can pull it back, pull the display piece off, and then change the poster in and out as you go. So that way you have this changing piece, you can put whatever type of poster you want and remove it without having to pull it off the wall, rehang it and everything like that. Really great alternative. I have a few down in my home office. Love it. Get sick of a poster. I have some wrapped up with rubber bands in the corner. Put another one up and it's like new decor all, the, all together. And if you don't want to hang up posters or get those frames, another great easy idea is Fathead. Fathead has a bunch of licenses, comic book material, pop culture material. You can go up there, multiple sizes. They have usually a bunch of sales around this time of year. Between Thanksgiving, Black Friday, all the way leading up to Christmas. Great sales. You can get the fat head, have it in time for Christmas. And then it's as easy as pulling the laminate off and sticking it up on the wall. And I don't know how well, how well it does long term, but short term wise, you don't have to worry about it pulling any paint or anything like that off the wall. Because uh, I've moved stuff around before. The bigger ones, you're definitely going to want to hang up with two people because yeah, they're kind of heavy duty, but they're great and they're fantastic. Another great gift idea is clothes and apparel. I mean, everyone likes to display that nerd flag, so get them a hoodie, get them a sweatshirt, get them a, um, a t-shirt, socks. They got shoes now for the, all these favorite characters out there. There's a license for it, someone has it and they're selling it. I bought just recently bought Masters of the Universe skateboard decks for myself. I haven't skated in almost 30 years, but those decks were absolutely phenomenal. Huge Master of the Universe fan, so I'm actually displaying those on my wall as wall art, not skateboard. Maybe they remind me of days way, way back when I used to read Thrasher and listen to Suicidal Tendencies. But moving on, speaking of apparel, speaking of clothes, there's also accessories from anything from lanyards. If they have a job where they have to wear an ID badge around, they have lanyards available. They drink coffee, plenty of coffee mugs out there. A good place to check, especially for those type of coffee mugs and cheap. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, a bunch of those type of places. A lot of times they carry coffee and then they carry coffee mugs. My wife's picked me up X-Men mugs, a bunch of them there for cheap. And I love them, big heavy duty mugs drink that coffee with. I currently have right now um, a Mickey Mouse Turbis Tumblr that I like to drink coffee out of. 
I got Green Lantern, Guardians of the Galaxy. All those are great ideas, especially for someone to get coffee. Don't drink coffee, maybe tea. Or especially with those turbos tumblers, you can put hot or cold. Either way, those are all get great ideas. Again, I'll have links to some of these in the description. I'll also have a link to a whole gift idea list that'll expound on what, I was talk what I've was talked about in this video. That again will be in the description of this video and you can also find it on simplemanscomics.com. One last thing, also we're in the spirit of giving and if you're out and about and you see Toys for Tots and you're buying stuff, you're buying Christmas shopping anyways, buy that unwrapped toy, drop it in the barrel, drop it in the box, help kids out, help Marine Corps out. I've been there back in many, many moons ago when I was in the Marine Corps standing barrel watch for Toys for Tots. Great time of year, great time to give. So if you can and you can afford it, put an unwrapped toy in that Toys for Tots and help support a great cause and help a, a kid less fortunate get Christmas gifts this year. And with that being said, if you're watching this video and you are the comic geek, comic nerd, add comments, give more suggestions. This video is for the community. Let's help everyone out. Let's help the people get the gifts they want. Let's help the people that are shopping for them take some of that stress and anxiety so they make sure they get a good gift. So put those in the comments and ask questions. If you're the opposite, if you're the one doing the buying, ask questions in the comments. I'm sure someone reading them, if not myself, will definitely answer them. So click that thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I'm Brian Wood, and from my family to yours, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas.